Port Royale 4. This is my review of the video game Port Royale 4. I played a previous version. I don't remember if it was 2 or 3, and it might have been on the Commodore Amiga, and then maybe I got it on the PC. Don't recall. But the way you play the game is that you're going to have a fleet of trading ships in the Caribbean. And there's different ports, and the ports are controlled by different countries, European countries, such as Spain, Netherlands, Portugal, etc. You have your fleet of trading vessels, and there is combat in the game. This is an example of the combat in the game. And you have different ports, and at the ports, you could establish like a home base. You can establish a building, you could, or I don't remember if it was buy property or build property. So you establish your home base and your property, and you are aligned with one of the nations. And then you would go trading to different ports with your ship. Uh, there's a possibility that you could engage in combat. This is an example of all the different ports, and you can see the flags which show which nation controls which port. And this is an example of a ship at one of the harbors, what the harbors look like at the towns. I really enjoyed playing this game. And I never completed the game. I, I remember spending a lot of time. I remember thinking, oh, I can't wait to continue playing. And it was a lot of fun because it has a trading element. The com there is a combat element where you have to defend yourself against other ships. Maybe they're pirate ships, for example. But it didn't come up that often. Uh, and... The trading is fun because you have to find something you have to purchase. You have to find a place to sell it. And what happened was I forgot the name of the game. I bought it before Steam. I probably had it on like a CD-ROM or something like that. So when Steam came around, I wanted to buy Port Royale. But because I couldn't remember the name of the game, I actually bought the wrong game. Let me see if I can tell you. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to. I have another sailing game, which is not Port Royale, and the other game is not good at all. Um, look, real Patrician is what the other game is called. So I bought the Patrician thinking maybe this was Port Royale. It's not. the Patr Patrician was not a very good game. Port Royale is. I really love Port Royale. I highly recommend it. You got version 4, version 3, version 2. Obviously, the older versions are cheaper, and if you're not sure if you want to buy the more expensive game, you could buy the cheaper one, still enjoy the game. Uh, the newer game has better graphics. And <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to tell you that uh, it, the reviews are a little mixed. It wasn't a solid uh, positive. The game was released on Steam September 2020. And that is my review. Again, I recommend the game. <laughs> How much would I spend on the game? This is a game you could spend $20 or $30 on. It's a trading game. And I think you'll probably enjoy it. But please read the reviews first. And maybe check the reviews for version 3 and version 2. Uh, I think that you would enjoy, if you enjoy trading games... It's also similar to the Anno series, A-N-N-O, uh, of which I have the Venice one, Dawn of Discovery. I have like two or three different versions. Um, I liked Port Royale better than the A-N-N-O, the Anno series. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.